Welcome back viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Ngobe, and I'm here to report on a worrying incident that is just uh, happening in Harare beginning yesterday, and it involves the Citizens Coalition for Change uh, official and former Zengeza West member of parliament. His name you all know is Job Sikala. You know that he was arrested in June 2022 and he's been languishing in prison for more than 480 days. So when we woke up yesterday, we woke up to the sad news that the former legislator who is still in, in incarceration uh, is suffering from an illness. It's a peculiar illness. We don't know as yet what particularly it is, but we're told that uh, he has got severe health problems, including uh, passing blood in his stool. So beginning yesterday, he, his lawyer, Mr. Harrison Cuomo, told one of the journalists uh, from Zimbabwe that the late, former legislator uh, is passing blood in his stool, severely ill, critically ill, and in need, at a need of a doctor. So the party's president, that is uh, advocate Nelson Chamisa, has now appealed to the international community, uh, including the Southern African Development uh, Community, that is the SATAC, to intervene uh, and ensure that pressure is put on the Zimbabwean government to, to release uh, Honorable Sikala so that he can get uh, treatment. So Chamisa has already uh, made this plea to the international community to ensure that Sikala is removed uh, or released rather from Chikurupi maximum prison where he's been for a very long time because he's very ill but there seems to be no movement uh, from the state to release him and the party believes that uh, he's more of a political prisoner than anything else and they want to have him released so that he can seek medical attention. He has been detained for this long, that is 482 days without trial. So it's an extra judicial detention because he has not yet been given his chance to argue his case in a court of law. So I'm going to read a, a, a note from Chamisa. He said, I'm deeply concerned about the fact that Honorable Sikala is seriously ill in Shikurupi Maximum Prison. In particular, the fact that he has blood in his stools is very serious, is a very serious condition which requires urgent and expert medical attention, which is denied to him at present. This would be bad enough if he was a convicted criminal, but he is an opposition politician and respected lawyer who has been denied bail and a fair trial since June last year. The oppressors have callously disregarded our pleas in the past, and so I now call on the international community, particularly leaders within SADC, to express concern and to call for his immediate release to obtain specialized medical attention. When icons like Nelson Mandela were held unjustly, the world spoke out against the brutal apartheid regimes and just treatment of him. This situation requires the same to be done urgently. For our part, we will continue to do all in our power to secure his release from detention. So that is what Chamisa wrote on X, uh, which was formerly known as Twitter. And uh, it doesn't look good because we don't think that unless maybe the international community intervenes, uh, we don't think that uh, Sikala will be released anytime soon but is also worrying that such a respected man uh, such a respected former legislator such a respected officer of the court has been held in extra judicial detention for so long regardless of whatever crime uh, is being accused of we believe that he still deserves fair trial he still deserves to have a uh, his day in court so that he accuses and if he's found guilty he's going to be uh, punished uh, alongside uh, the crime that would have been convicted of but so far he hasn't been convicted of anything but he spent more than a year uh, in extrajudicial detention so this is what we had for you uh, 
we will continue to monitor this and we will as soon as we get any other update come back here to update you thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share but also don't forget to pray for honorable sikala